this is my uh, scam sticker. Scam and sticker. You you see, you've seen, you probably haven't seen this piece. It's a limited edition piece, but you've seen his stickers around all over Portland. You have, and I've seen these stickers because you've seen it on street signs, and you've seen it on poles, and you've seen it. We have a couple of this table right here. I'm gonna show this off, and I'm gonna do a little advertising for my own artwork right now. <laughs> um, this this table is a piece created by me, but it has a lot of influences from other artists that have helped. Um, the that's sticker... A, that's a scam sticker right there. Right here is a scam sticker. Uh, I think our going price on this table right now is 1500 bucks. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, there's been a lot of work and a lot of collecting, a lot of effort from a lot of people that have gone into this. Mm -hmm. And it means a lot to me, and the price reflects... Who's that? So. That's, that is the lost cause. That's that's Winston the whale. Winston the whale, the lost cause. I didn't know that until just yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. There's an RX skulls. He's mm -hmm. he's about to be the uh, vomits sticker artist of the year. Mm -hmm. um, when we went to Vancouver for Van Vansterdam, this guy was uh it wasn't invoice it was this invoice guy cool. yeah invoice is fucking cool as hell that guy <laughs> and this this squid robot guy were the two i don't think he's a part of it either i think this this guy and this guy are two different artists than the robot squid, but I'm not sure. Kanye, I think Kanye, I know him, he's a good artist. Kanye is not a good artist. What? Kanye, the rapper, or? No, Kanye, the, the okay. street artist. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I do not support Kanye, I the rap artist. I hate Kanye, the rap artist. All right. uh. In fact, Kanye, the street artist, and I have had lengthy discussion about my hatred for Kanye as a rap artist. <laughs> Don't want me to stay positive. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I positively hate Kanye the rap artist. <laughs> I'm, I apologize to Kanye the street artist because, you know, it's your thing and it's your passion in life. This table not only represents me and, like, my vision of, like, street art and sticker graffiti, but, I mean, it represents, I, I couldn't even begin to count the number of artists that I represented. There's a Dead Red Dingus. He's awesome. I know all these guys. <laughs> this, I mean, this, this table means a lot to me. And I think and it was all done during 2014. Uh, there's a couple stickers that I need to add on to this table. But I collected them during 2014. The last of the work on this table will be done during 2015. That is okay. It's a 2014 table. There was a huge show in March of last year called the uh, Sticker Nerds 3. Did you guys do it? I have no idea what you're talking okay. about. It was, uh, it was done and it was a uh, scam actually curated the show. It was oh, okay. huge. It was the largest uh, street art uh, sticker show in the world in 2014. Wow. Yeah. It was massive. We built all of the walls for it. We built over a hundred uh, square feet of, or a hundred feet of walls for it. Was so warehouse space. Space. Yeah. Yeah. it was a warehouse Yeah, it was massive. It was uh -huh. probably, I don't know. I think they said forty thousand stickers. It was a massive amount of stickers. I love this table. Is was basically what I was trying to get across, and I love the sticker art. Uh, graffiti scene. I fucking have so much respect for the people, and that's what this is. Was a fucking like a and a, a bow down to these these artists. It's awesome, man. Yeah.
tribute to him. A tribute, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because so many of their stickers just them. hang out on the backs of street signs yeah. and, and newspaper uh, vending machines and different places, you know. And they, they they'll get, hang out there and they'll either get stolen or they'll get or they destroyed. Get yeah, they get homage. Buffed. Homage. homage was yeah. the word I was looking for. This is an homage to them. It, I mean, it means a lot to me, but I think that it could mean a lot to a lot of people. This is Demisio Sierra. It's a uh, he's a street artist as well, yeah. right? Two piece. He's, he's a graffiti artist that spends most of his year in Portland, but he spends right now he's uh, he's he's wintering in Arizona where he's from. That sounds great. <laughs> wintering in Arizona. I I wish that the weather was warmer here, or that I could just. Transfer to somewhere warmer for a while. Yeah. That is Taylor Blackwell. <coughs> Taylor Blackwell. It's an experimental cityscape that he You made. said that Taylor doesn't have any formal education in art. He's a uh, chef. That's correct. He was he was a chef at one time. Um yeah, he's he's self taught, man. He's I mean I think it's very interesting. Cityscape. Yeah. I, mean, I love it. It's, love it's really, it. That is the. Uh, that's actually based off of a. I think from memory of the the Portland. Um, yeah. Cityscape. Yeah, the cityscape oh, over the, the river. river. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, Taylor Blackwell and I uh, curated a show called the um, Folk Yard here in Portland yeah. for a couple a couple shows. Oh, very it, was, cool. it was a lot of fun. Yeah, he's a great guy. And that's Jonathan Christ. I said Christ before, but he, I think they go by Christ. It, it's spelled spelled the same way, but yeah, I think they pronounce it Christ. Christ. Yeah, and he's a really cool artist in, in Portland as well. He does uh, stencil art. He said he does stencil art, uh, he, but he does a little bit of everything. He's he's kind of all over the map and and the stuff that he does. Um, and he's got a, he does uh, like he DJs and stuff, and he's just so, he's a really deep, dark guy. He's really fascinating to know. I definitely think, look, looking at this, I believe the sneers were intentional. It was intentional. Yeah. Um, so this is like kind of dust in the windy, you know, like, a like swim look. Murder. That looks like, like a common. That looks like a. Uh, Vietnam. That's what I'm thinking. That's a, a photograph. I'm surprised there's no red in it, but I, I mean, it's very cool. Yeah, I love the bees. Now you guys have a new show that you're putting together, a, a biennial show. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, you tell us about that. We're gonna do a. It's actually pretty exclusive. Um, it's called DM Twenty One, and it starts two hundred and. 50 invites? Uh, well, we, uh, <clears throat> we're we going to do a catalog. It will be a, an exclusive catalog that will go out to collectors um, and that will be sold to collectors. Um, there's going to be, we're going to print 500 of them. 500? Um, yeah. Um, and it's their limited ed edition catalogs and it'll be collectors that are buying them. I mean, there might be some people that, that like some of the artist's work and just want to have They'll be reasonably affordable if somebody wants to buy one. Uh, but the show is, uh, it's actually, the art show itself will be called Dark Matter 21. Um, and the idea, if you know uh, about Dark Matter, it's basically what holds the universe together. Yeah. And so we were really inspired by the idea of in the art world, um, in the gallery business, the curators kind of hold it together for the artists to come. And when it comes to actually selling art and putting it in the, the hands of the collector, it's the, it's the no-name, unseen person in the background that's actually making that happen. And I, I, I think as a curator, like, I really don't care if people know who I am because my whole thing is making sure that artists get recognition and they're selling because for me, if I die and nobody knows who I am, but the arts are better off, it's perfect. That that's the best legacy I could ever want to give 
to any to anything is just know that it's somehow I affected the arts to make it better. To know that the general public is collecting art and that artists are living and not starving. Mm -hmm. I don't care if nobody knows my name. That's perfect to me. So you know, just just cremate me and throw me somewhere, and I'm good. I'm good with that. So I know that's not like a. I know a lot of curators that are like really pompous and and they want it that you know they're selling their brand if you look at the blue chip galleries they're selling their brand they're selling their image and that's what helps them sell their the artwork for this you know really expensive art and i don't think i think that's a long gone i mean for the for the real markets in the u.s i don't think that that should be happening so i want to mention something that i've said and i'm not this isn't my personal thought. This is me quoting somebody else. The rich sell to the poor and the poor sell to the rich. And I think a lot of the galleries used to sell to the rich 